Welcome to Crashcast Java, where we dive deep into Java concepts to help you become a better developer. I'm Victor, and today we're joined by Sheila to discuss an intriguing topic, concurrent skip list map. Sheila, can you give our listeners a quick overview of what we'll be covering? Absolutely, Victor. Today we're exploring concurrent skip list map, a powerful concurrent collection in Java. We'll cover what it is, how it works, and why you might want to use it in your projects. By the end of this episode, our listeners will have a solid understanding of this data structure and its place in the Java ecosystem. Great introduction, Sheila. Let's start with the basics. Can you explain what a concurrent skip list map is and when it was introduced? Sure thing, Victor. Concurrent skip list map was introduced in Java 6 as part of the Java util.concurrent package, it's a thread-safe sorted map implementation based on a skip list data structure. Think of it as a more scalable alternative to synchronized tree maps when you need concurrent access in a multi-threaded environment. Interesting. Could you break down the name for our listeners? What does each part mean? Of course. Let's break it down. 1. Concurrent means it's designed for use in multi-threaded applications. 2. Skip list refers to the underlying data structure it uses. Three. Map indicates that it stores key value pairs, like a regular Java map. So put together, it's a thread safe map that uses a skip list to maintain its sorted order. That's a great explanation. Now you mentioned a skip list. Can you elaborate on what that is and why it's useful? Certainly. A skip list is a clever data structure that allows for fast search, insertion and deletion operations. Imagine a multi-level express elevator system in a very tall building. The ground floor has stops at every floor, but as you go up, some elevators skip more and more floors. That's an interesting analogy. How does this relate to the data structure? Well, in a skip list, elements are arranged in a similar way. The bottom level contains all elements in sorted order, like the ground floor elevator stopping at every floor. Higher levels act as express lanes, skipping over some elements, allowing for faster traversal. This structure enables operations to be performed in O log n time on average. I see. So it's all about efficiency. Speaking of which, how does concurrent skip list map compare to other concurrent collections in terms of performance? Great question, Victor. Concurrent skip list map generally offers better scalability than its synchronized counterparts, especially in scenarios with high concurrency. It allows multiple threads to perform read and write operations simultaneously without blocking each other, which is a significant advantage. That sounds really useful. Can you give us an example of a real-world scenario where concurrent skip list map might be the best choice? Absolutely. Imagine you're building a social media platform's trending topics feature. You need to maintain a sorted list of topics with their popularity scores as keys. Multiple threads are constantly updating scores and querying the top topics. Concurrent skip list map would be perfect here because it can handle frequent updates and range queries efficiently in a multi-threaded environment. That's a great example, Sheila. Now let's talk about some potential pitfalls. Are there any common misunderstandings or mistakes developers should be aware of when using concurrent skip list map? Definitely, Victor. One common mistake is assuming that because it's concurrent, all operations are automatically atomic. While individual operations are thread safe, sequences of operations may still need external synchronization. Another pitfall is using it when you don't need sorting or concurrency, as there might be more efficient alternatives in those cases. Those are important points to keep in mind. As we start to wrap up, could you share some best practices for using concurrent skip list map? Of course. Here are a few key best practices. 1. Use it when you need a sorted concurrent map and don't require absolute consistency between operations. 2. Be mindful of the memory overhead, as skip lists can use more memory than simple lists. 3. Consider using the navigable map methods it provides for range queries and operations. 4. Remember that while it's thread safe, it doesn't provide locking for the entire collection, so use external synchronization if you need it. Excellent advice, Sheila. To conclude our discussion, could you summarize the key points we've covered about concurrent skip list map? Certainly, Victor. We've learned that concurrent skip list map is a thread safe sorted map implementation introduced in Java 6. It uses a skip list data structure for efficient operations, offers great scalability in high concurrency scenarios, 
and is particularly useful for applications requiring sorted data with frequent updates and range queries. We've also discussed its performance characteristics, real-world applications, and some best practices for its use. Thank you, Sheila. That's a great summary. For our listeners who want to dive deeper, here are three advanced topics related to concurrent skip list map. 1. Lock-free algorithms and their implementation in Java, concurrent collections 2. Comparative analysis of concurrent skip list map versus concurrent hash map versus tree map 3. Custom comparators and their impact on concurrent skip list map performance. Thank you all for tuning in to Crashcast Java. If you found this episode helpful, please subscribe and join us next time for more Java insights.